Kenan, take me back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was saying. I didn't know what I was doing. You can't blame me. I realize now it wasn't you. It was me. I was the problem. That's why it didn't work between us. It's me. I've changed though. I can change. Help me. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I made a few test videos the last couple of weeks. M50 versus the Sony A6300 and the GH5S. Just comparing them side by side. And I may have effed up. We're all, we're all just human here. We make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. You know. Come on. Give me another chance. I won't let you down. When I compared the M50 to the A6300, the M50 was softer than a koala bear's tummy. A newborn koala bear's tummy. Newborn. Now let me explain to you what I did because most people were saying I've never seen the M50 look that bad. How, how did you do it? Tell me. I'd like to know. To avoid it. It was terrible. All I did was bring the sharpness down to plus one, like I do on every other camera. I bring that sharpness right down. On Panasonic GH5, every video you've ever seen from it is minus everything on sharpness. That's what I do. I don't need you to see the burrito I ate last night coming out of the left side of my nose. I don't need that. So I always bring the sharpness down in every camera. The problem is on a Canon camera, if you do that, you're in trouble, buddy. You are in trouble because their sensor is a 480p sensor and they need digital sharpening to even compete in the modern day world. Am I so far beyond the rule of thirds? It's not even, a, it's a rule of one. Th Perfect. You see that thing? That's the battery that just died and you Canon piece of shit, lowly life, low mouse powered battery piece of shit. So here's my theory. Take a Panasonic camera, take all the sharpness down, it's still super sharp, it's delicious. I think their sensor is such high quality, that and their codec is just optimized. Scientists lost sleep over that thing. They had a meeting about it. Alright fellas, we don't have the biggest sensor, but we can make it the best for its size. It's not the size that matters, right Stacy? Well, define matters. I don't know, if a man were to have a tiny censored camera, he could still take care of you with the pictures that you liked? Well, I guess it would depend on what we do before taking the picture. Are, are there flashes? Yeah, of course, I'll, I'll do the flash thing, and then we'll take the picture. In the small, there'll be lots of noise, it's a small sensor, but... You'll, you'll be happy still? I suppose. Love you. So my theory is Panasonic sensors, even the G85, I always did that, minus all the sharpness. It's still, it's such a high quality sensor and codec that it looks good. It's like there's no extra tweaking. That's what the sharpness is for. It adds digital sharpness on top of it. It's like a handicapped thing. Like it shouldn't be there, but we can add it. Now the Canon, on the other hand, if you remove its digital sharpening, you're back to 1984 with the 480p image. Worse, possibly. The colors, this red shirt that I will parade around. This was a mauve, frickin' mauve. And then the Sony had it orange, and so did the Panasonic. I don't know what I'm doing. That's all we know for sure. This is straight out of camera, though. And I do believe that's what this shirt looks like. So we've switched it up a notch, my friend. We're on the standard profile now. Minus a couple things. Minus sharpness a little too notch. Contrast a little too notch down. Saturation one notch. And nothing else is touched. We haven't even graded it. We don't even need. But how does this look? This is straight out of camera the whole video so far. Straight out, standard profile. If I'm looking at it, I think it looks good. I've done a couple of test runs, and I was like, oh, oh, there it is. When you bring that sharpness up, it was like, wow, oh, there it is. I have a beard now, not just painted on mustache ink. 
Now let me just show you what I was using for those other videos. It was just the neutral profile with shit brought down too much and look what happens. Am I in focus? It... That's how unsharp it is. I don't even look in focus anymore. So we brought everything down except sharpness is still at plus one. But all the contrast is down, saturation is down. And then you, you're supposed to be able to grade this footage, bring it back up, but Canon's files can't hold up under the stress of a color grading system. They crumble under the weight. It's like a little fourth grader trying to hold up a piano. Like, I can do it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I promise too much. So side by side with the standard over there and neutral over here. I don't know, this shirt still looks better than it did in the other videos. I don't know, it turned purple. I don't understand it. No color, no camera got it right. That's all I know. Orange on the other two. Sony made the gray wall no longer purple. That's a Gerald Undone wall over there. He painted it. Thank you, Gerald. I appreciate it. So let's do some tests here. I brought sharpness all the way down to zero now. We are zero sharpness. And I will throw up Buddy over to the left with all the sharpness of our lives put together in a bowl of sharp needles. Like, look at the difference. That is over cat claw sharpened. That is, you are so ugly. That is embarrassing. Who's your skincare worker? Edward Scissorhands? You lips. So we're back to standard profile, and now my thoughts have changed a little bit on the Sony a6300, really looking at the files. Reds are orange in Sony, purples are gray. I liked the look for some reason in my face, even though it was tomato red, beet red, it looked like baboons slapped me high five on my face for 40 minutes straight. But for some reason that looked good to me. I was like, yeah, it's color graded, perfect. Let's publish that. And then people commented, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, shit. Now to compare it with the GH5S red shirt. Is that red anymore? Is the purple still purple? What's happened to my face? Side by side with the M50, which looks more pleasing to the naked eye. Because it seems like Panasonic doesn't get the colors accurately. Where Canon actually did. I was wrong. I was just in the wrong profile. I'm so sorry. Take me back. But the reality is we're talking like three grand for the GH5S versus whatever, like 550 for the Canon. This is 10 bit 422, that's 8 bit 40 minus four. So which looks better? Now what about if we actually use a profile on the GH5S? We're in Rec 709 right now, straight out of camera, no grading whatsoever. Can that compare to the M50? Colors? Is the shirt red? Is everything fantastic? Why am I using S-Log? V-Log? Oh god. What's S? That's Sony. Oh, don't beat me up. Here's Cine like V. I haven't touched any of the settings. I should. Probably sharpness too high. Oh god, every zit. Every zit I've ever had in my life. Come to the forefront. I hate that. Let's face it, I need to get bigger monitors. I got a 15 inch laptop that's been used all over the world. It ain't holding up. And then you bring the 15 inch, but only this much of it is Premiere Pro window. And like, oh yeah, that looks good. Then when I watch it on full screen, <laughs> it's like, oh wow, that's that looks terrible. Yeah, publish it anyway. So we'll see, I'm debating. I used to have two 27 inch monitors and I'm debating either getting that system again or a wide, one wide, 32 inch, an ultra wide. For any video editors out there, can you tell me? Have you used both and what do you prefer? Can you hear my cat? He cries for food. Let me know what's better, one big screen or two still really big screens. What's better? But when I think of it, the Sony, I don't even want to use it now. I have to hook up that external monitor. It's a pain in the butt. And the colors, I do have to grade it. I have to use S-Log and then we all know I can't color grade. I'm thinking of switching to DaVinci Resolve. Maybe that will help me. I can't do it in Premiere. We've all seen it. So 
Let me know down below if you use DaVinci. Is it better? I don't want to make the switch. I do, but I don't. Might take a long time. It is a slow autofocusing lens, but it's smooth. I appreciate that. And that means, wouldn't the RP or R be even better than this? Glorious blurry background. I don't know if I like the 35mm focal length though. That's what we're at right now. It's kind of far. Look at that, I can't even touch. Focus on it, can't. Yay. Is this good content? I'll just leave. Thank you for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked. Camera conspiracy shirts down below. Thank you so much. Kids too. Women's. We got it all. T-shirts, sweaters, phone cases, mugs, pillows. I will leave. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.